In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new T-Mobile Revel 7 Pro 5G. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the brand new T-Mobile Revel 7 Pro 5G, and this has some really decent upgrades coming from last year's Revel 6X Pro 5G. So I'm super excited about this device. First and foremost, this is going to be offered at T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. Specifically for Metro by T-Mobile, you guys can get this device for $249 retail. I believe it's the same at T-Mobile as well. But as far as like the port and specials and stuff like that, you can get this for free at Metro by T-Mobile with a port in special or you can get it free just opening a new line. Now with all of that wrapped up for $249 we get some really decent stuff in this device. This is actually surprisingly a pretty decent phone compared to last year's device. First and foremost we finally have an AMOLED display so we have an AMOLED 6.78 inch full HD plus display. So we're not only going to have a full HD display now but we are going to have that beautiful colorful AMOLED display in here so the colors are just going to pop and the blacks are going to be deep. It's just going to look really nice all around. Also for a processor, we have thrown away the Dimensity 700 processor and we finally have ushered in the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor. It's not the greatest in the world, of course, but for $249, you're getting a really decent processor inside of here. And the most impressive thing to me, honestly, is we get eight gigabytes of RAM inside this device and a whopping 256 gigabytes of internal storage storage inside of here just straight out of the box so super excited about that we're going to be talking about the camera system in a second but this also comes with stereo speakers a 5000 milliamp battery and it says we are also going to get a collaboration with google in this so it's going to be pretty close to stock android also before i unbox this t-mobile and metro by t-mobile did actually promise that they were going to give anybody a wall charger who needed a wall charger so um you can ask about that in store or of course call metro by t-mobile mobile or t-mobile themselves but finally opening this up we have this magenta box right here that's foreseeably going to have all of our accessories and stuff like that in and first and foremost of course we have usb type c to type c data cable we have our quick start guide safety and regulatory information and of course our terms and conditions and just below that we have our sim ejector tool and the last thing that you will find in the box is the phone itself but i'm gonna put all of this away boot this up and i'll show you this beauty right now all right, everyone, so I am going to boot up this phone right now, but on the right side of our Revel 7 Pro right here, we are going to have a magenta button, and it's actually pretty tactile and clicky. That's going to double as our power button, as well as our fingerprint sensor, which we'll go ahead and test out in a second. As you guys can see as well, alongside the phone, we can pick up some fingerprints, so if you guys want to get a case for this, that's probably a good idea. And just above that, we have our volume up and down rocker. Now, going to the back of this phone is we're going to find this beautiful beautiful, colorful phone right here. And um, this is going to be called the Azerite Blue color. And I believe this is the only color that the Rebel 7 Pro comes in as of right now on release. And of course we have a type of hue right here, silver hue. Um, with our T-Mobile logo right there. So that's pretty cool. And honestly, I think this phone looks pretty nice, especially compared to a bunch of the other Revel devices we've received in the past. Yes, this kind of looks like a OnePlus phone. It's definitely OnePlus-esque, but um, overall, I think this is the best looking device we've seen from Revel so far. Now, as far as our rear facing cameras, of course, as you guys can see, we have a four camera setup right here. Our main camera is going to be a 50 megapixel wide shooter. Our secondary is going to be a five megapixel wide as well. We are also going to have a two megapixel macro camera and a two megapixel depth camera, as well as an eight megapixel front facing camera on the front we'll take a look at later on. But overall, very minimalistic on the back other than of course the T-Mobile logo, but I think it looks pretty sexy and pretty elegant overall. On the top of the phone, all we're going to have is our noise canceling mic. Left side of the phone, we are going to have our SIM tray right there, and we can actually expand our memory via micro SD card up to two terabytes. Bottom of the phone, some other cool stuff we have right here. On the right side, we have a speaker, and that's going to be paired with the front facing speaker as well, which is our headset. So we're gonna have stereo speakers, like I said before. Our charging port, which is USB type C, 
To the left of that, of course, we have another noise canceling mic. And to the left of that, we have kept our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Again, great to see that in 2024. All right, guys, so the phone is finally booted up and you guys can actually utilize this display at 120 hertz once you boot it up. So it is going to have a very, very smooth refresh rate as you guys see right here. Click on display and outside of the box, this should be on, but I would definitely double check. So this automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz. And of course, like I said before, we do have facial recognition on this device. However, I usually do like to use a fingerprint sensor and uh, I definitely like to do this litmus test for everything. Let's test this out. Very, very accurate fingerprint sensor right here. So you're gonna have no issues with this. Um, which is kind of rare taking a look at a device that's under 300 bucks that works this well with the fingerprint sensor it is super super accurate 10 out of 10 times you're going to be able to unlock your phone so absolutely love that straight out of the gate the other thing on this device that i didn't even know we were going to have as well is going to be 15 watt wireless charging capability so if you guys want to wirelessly charge your phone you guys have that capability on here we also have bluetooth 5.2 and another cool thing is we have NFC on this device as well, meaning that you guys can add your cards, your subscriptions, and um, all that type of jazz inside of your Google wallet. So really cool to see that right here. But so far, first and foremost, I think the biggest thing I can notice is this display looks beautiful. So that AMOLED display is going to look really, really good. And we do have some bezels at the bottom of the display and the top of the display, but it just meshes well with this AMOLED display. So if you're watching movies and things of that nature, I'm sure those bezels are going to disappear. Um, I feel like the biggest issue when it comes to these bezels right here is when it's on a TFT display or an LCD display, they just look so, so ugly and they do not blend in well. But as for this display, I think this looks pretty decent. Of course, on our drop down bar menu as well, we have our internet setup right here. Uh, we have Wi-Fi calling, our airplane mode, our device connects for our Google Home and all that type of stuff. We have our battery saver, our dark theme, of course. Our screencast is going to be inside of here natively, so great to see that there. And um, I'm thinking this phone is looking pretty good overall. I'm grateful they did not put that teardrop notch or that V notch in there. We just have a hole punch. That looks good. I think that was a good choice by them. But I am going to check out a few different things on here. But for the majority of the stuff, stay tuned and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell because later on, we're going to get very deep into the performance of this phone as far as gaming and photo and video taking and all that type of stuff. So we'll talk about the performance with my use over time in the next couple weeks or whatever. And I will have some more videos like the gaming and video and my pros and cons later on as well. But for the last few things I would like to do with this phone, I do want to check out that camera really quick and I'm going to check out the sound as well as the display on this watching a 4k video also before we do that um, this is a very very smooth 120 Hertz on this display and as I said before this has pretty much all of the Google applications inside of here so this is all catered and collaborated with Google so it's going to be a very stock Android experience and I like the way it looks for sure all right guys so getting into our camera section of course we have our photo we have our video we have our night mode right there we also have live focus and in our more section we have our pro mode of course which basically lets you change the white balance and a bunch of other stuff if you guys are photographers we have our panorama mode or slow motion hyperlapse our 50 megapixel sensor as well macro mode and of course to look up things off of the internet from photos we can use that Google Lens. So say we wanna search for something, so we take a picture of this little box right here, it will find that for us. But taking a quick photo right here, we have a pretty decent shutter speed right here. All the colors and everything look very, very nice. The photos look sharp so far. And of course, we're gonna go outside in natural light and see how this actually looks. But the other thing that surprised me is we can actually record at 2K 30 frames per second on here. So I'm excited to test that out. As you guys can see, we can also record at 1080p 60 frames per second. So we'll get this video test and all of that stuff out very, very soon. But so far, the camera is looking pretty solid for $249. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I do wanna check out these speakers on this device. So we're going to play something from NC s really quick and see how this sounds of course as i said before we have stereo speakers so we'll be utilizing the bottom uh, firing speaker as well as our headset as the other speaker without further ado let's go ahead and test this out
Don't give me this. I'm gonna get back when I feel like you know I don't play right. I put up a good fight. Just give me the word, I uh-huh, uh-huh. When I feel like all right guys so this is actually surprisingly good uh, it is very loud it does have a lot of bass you can feel the vibration on the phone um, as well a little more than usual um, but very very loud and clear speaker right here I would say there is a tiny bit of tin but nowhere near a budget phone. This is definitely a mid-range uh, quality speaker and it, it very much surprised me. I would be absolutely happy with this speaker if this was my phone. So I think for $249, this speaker is very, very decent. All right, everyone, so we have our downscaled 4K video right here that we're going to be testing out. Also, if we go into our settings right here and click on quality in the YouTube application and go to advanced, we can actually watch this video at 2160p at 60 frames per second. So with that, let's see how this looks. Alright everyone, so as far as the display goes on here, the display looks very, very good. Uh, you guys are going to have a great time watching YouTube videos. We have some beautiful colors on here, very deep blacks and very nice saturation overall. So videos, TV shows, social media is going to look great on here. There are actually no bad angles on this phone wherever you turn it. I know there are some people who play video games and stuff like that, but it's not like a TFT display. This is a very, very high quality AMOLED display on this device. And I think T-Mobile did a great job with the Revel 7 Pro right here. Now, overall, for a $249 retail price, I could absolutely recommend this phone. And even more so if you guys are getting this phone free with port in or opening a new line, either at T-Mobile or Metro by T-Mobile. It's a very inexpensive phone, yes, but I think it covers most of what someone needs inside of a phone. So if you're not looking for something that's crazy amazing, if you don't need the best camera in the world, if you don't need the best processor in the world, if you don't need all of those niceties and features that honestly, the majority of people don't use, then I think you would be 100% fine with this device. And um, I'm really happy with this so far, even looking at it as a $249 retail price. Now, of course, with that price again, 15 watt wireless charging inside of here, we get a 5,000 milliamp battery, NFC, Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor, a beautiful AMOLED display inside of here, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage outside of the box. I feel like uh, for $249, this phone is a steal. And um, we're gonna be talking more about this phone later on, but so far, for my first impressions, this is a pretty solid device. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.